Hello everyone, welcome to TestNG tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about the retry mechanism in TestNG and how you can perform retries for the failed test cases and implement the listener for a retry mechanism in a TestNG. So uh, in many, you know, actual uh, practical scenarios, you would have came across that your test cases fail because of either environment issues or, you know, something, um, you know, some synchronization issue. And you want to, you know, you don't want to uh, rerun those test cases manually and you want to try to retry uh, those failures automatically in case the test case uh, fails. Uh, and retry for a couple of times before you actually want to see, you know, the final result. So um, that is basically, you know, important in case the test case has failed because of the environment issue or synchronization issue. Then if you retry, you know, two or three times, then the test case might, you know, pass the next time if it is a failure because of the synchronization or environment issues. And that is where TestNG uh, is helpful in implementing the retry mechanism for, you know, particular test case or across um, all of the, you know, failures as a listener. So uh, we have seen about the listener and uh, we have also implemented listener to capture screenshot. Now retry uh, mechanism can also be implemented as a, as a listener and we'll see how we can implement retry mechanism for a specific test case and then also for you know across uh, the whole project uh, for all of the test cases when you implement it as a listener so if you go to the documentation implementation of uh, rerunning the failed test cases is very straightforward okay so the if you see this particular test ng documentation then you simply what you have to do is you simply have to build an implementation of the interface which is I retry analyzer. Okay, so this is the interface provided in TestNG. You just have to pro implement that. And here is the code that they have already provided. Okay, very simple code, nothing much here. You simply can copy and paste this and use it in uh, one of the retry class. So we'll create that. And the second step is to basically bind this implementation with your test cases. Okay, so this is basically with all of your test cases, if you want to retry your particular test case, you have to bind your test case with this particular command. So with, you know, retry analyzer is equal to whatever retry class wherein you have put this particular code, um, that class name. Okay, the drawback with this is basically, say for example, you have 500 test cases, right? Then you have to basically bind your test cases, all 500 test cases with this particular class, okay? And that is not, you know, a good approach. So I'll show you how you can do it for a particular test case. And then we'll also see how you can implement the retry analyzer and uh, then use or implement it as a, um, you know, a listener rather than putting it for the specific test case. Okay. So let's just copy this particular, uh, you know, code here. And in Eclipse, what I'll do is I'll simply create a class and name is a name it as retry. Okay. And in this particular class, let me simply paste the code that I have copied and I'll simply rename it to retry so that it matches and just remove this override. Okay. So as is, I have copied the code from TestNG website. Okay. This will work exactly fine. So don't need to, no need to worry about, uh, you know, any other details in this particular class. Okay. It is very simple code. So you have, you know, just the retry, retry count is initialized to zero and then max retry count is three. Okay. So you, it depends, you know, like how many times you want to retry the failed test cases. So, uh, if you if you want to change the number, you can change the number here accordingly. So um, I'll retry for the four times and then the, the retry method, depending on the result. OK, if uh, you know the result uh, or here the value is true, then it will come into the uh, if uh, section here and the retry count is zero. So it is less than four. It will retry uh, the test and then basically increment it and then again return true okay unless until you know this particular retry count is 
you know not less than you know max retry count it won't come out of this if okay once it comes out it will return false and then it will stop retrying so based on you know the number that you have specified here it will retry that many times so this is uh, you know the class that we have implement implemented now if you want to retry a particular test case simply you have to go to that particular test case so for example this is the launch app test right now i just have to give the name of that particular retry class okay as an argument so if i go to the second point here so you have just have to bind this implementation we have done this implementation in the class which is retry class that i have named here right so the retry class and now i have to go to the specific test case and bind that retry class right so how we have to do it we simply have to say retry analyzer is equal to the class wherein you have implemented the retry mechanism so here you can simply specify retry press control space and then provide the name of the class so where is your class it, it is in the package common and retry okay so we'll simply say uh, common and then dot retry okay and then dot class okay so that's the only thing that is required to mention in this particular test case to retry this test case for four times if the test case fails and this test case will fail because i have you know manually failed the particular test case by putting the assert dot assert true and providing the boolean value as false so if i now write um, you know right click and run this as test ng test then the test case will be retried for the four times before the test case is finished so you can see in the right hand side um, launch app then again second time third time fourth right so you can see that it has retried four times and then exited the test case right so you can see you know test run five so the first time it failed and then after that four times it tried and it couldn't you know pass the test and it is it uh, finally exited the test so this approach will work if you specify this retry class to each and every test. So for example, you have another test here, right? So at test annotation, okay, and another method. So you have to again specify the same thing in this particular test as well, okay? And so for example, you have 500 test cases like this, you, can keep, you will be keep doing this for all of your test cases, which is not a good approach, okay? Now you can implement listener and listener what what a listener will do is it will basically listen for the failure of any of your test cases in the test suite and then based on the test ng execution uh, any failure that is being identified this retry mechanism will be launched for that and in order to do do that we'll use the same this same class we just have to create one more you know uh, class and we'll simply say new class and we'll say retry listener okay let's name it as listener and in this particular class so to implement that uh, sorry to implement that particular method retry listener uh, what we have to do is we have to there is a you know interface i um, annotation transformer okay so that uh, interface provides you to implement the listener for retrying the test case so you just have to implement i annotation transformer so here in this particular class what we you need to say is you need to say just implements and the name of the interface that you want to implement and it is i annotation transformer okay and if you hover over let me save it hover over and import this i annotation transformer from org.testng now as soon as you will import you if you hover over retry listener there is an unimplemented method in this particular interface that you have to implement and the method that you need to implement is transform 
okay so just click on add unimplemented method and it will provide you the details of the method that you need to implement the method is transform and it accepts four arguments all right so it accepts i test annotation class constructor and method and what you have to do is you don't have to do any other steps here you just have to say annotation dot and set retry analyzer okay just call that particular you know just uh, call this method set retry analyzer and provide the detail or provide the class which has this retry mechanism okay because this retry class is implementing the interface i retry analyzer okay and we'll simply pass on this class here so we'll say retry dot class and that's it nothing else so once you add this particular line right now this retry listener we can implement or we can call this listener in our test ng xml okay now this is the third step so as we have done for capturing the screenshot we have configured our listener okay and then we have added that listener in our test ng file right so common dot listener so in this case what we have to do is we simply have to change it to common dot retry listener all right and the test is listener demo test so whatever test cases now you want to execute you can you know add as many classes as you want to this particular test suite and now whenever any of the failure is being detected in any of the classes that you add here so for example you want to add you know another class right which has five other test cases something like this okay you can keep adding that and you don't have to now go back and uh, to each and every test case and implement or add that particular you know line retry analyzer to these particular test case so i can remove it from here okay and in this test ng xml i'll remove these classes as of now because they are just dummy classes um, so now the retry and you know analyzer is being referenced in this particular test ng xml now if i run this okay sweet then the retry for the test case will be done for the four times okay so you can see on the failure this will be so you can see it has started relaunching the application and it will do for the four times and then finally exit the test so that's how you will implement the retrial listener in test ng and utilize it in your test cases and uh, this will be really really helpful in implementing the retry mechanism for the test cases across your test suite and it will perform the retry automatically and don't have to worry about manually adding the retry mechanism to each and every test case so that's all for this retry tutorial hope you like it thank you very much for watching